Hello everyone, today I will review Metallica's 11th studio album, 72 Seasons. The album was released on April 14, 2023, by their own record label Blackened Recordings. It was produced by Greg Fiddleman, who produced the band's previous studio album, Hardwired, to Self-Destruct, 2016. The album includes 12 songs lengths, 77 minutes. Metallica lineup stayed unchanged since 2003, James Hetfield lead singer and guitar, Lars Ulrich drums, Kirk Hammett lead guitar, and Robert Trujillo on bass. Hetfield commented on the meaning of the album's title, 72 Seasons, the first 18 years of our lives that form our true or false selves, the concept that we were told who we are by our parents. The album received three nominations at the 66th Grammy Awards, winning Best Metal Performance for the title track 72 Seasons, and also received positive reviews from critics. Now let's talk about individual songs on the album. Track number one, 72 Seasons talks about destructive nature of human anger and how it can influence one's life. It is the fourth single from the album, and the lyrics suggest that humans are helpless and cannot change past events, which can lead to mental illness and obsession. The chorus highlights the effect of anger on human behavior, showing how it can split a person in two and influence their point of view. The song is very powerful and explosive, good harmonies too with Hetfield and Hammett during solos. Track number two, Shadows Follow, is about the constant struggle against one's inner demons and the feeling being haunted by the past. The metaphor of the wolf on the hunt stalking prey suggests that the persona's demons are like a predator that is constantly lurking and waiting to pounce. Towards the end of the song, the persona seems to come to a realization that they can no longer run away or hide from their shadows. The song has some very heavy Metallica old school riffs, and I can say this is one of the best songs on the album. Track number three, Screaming Suicide, is the second single from 72 Seasons album. A powerful exploration of the internal struggle of mental health, suicidal thoughts, and the fight for self-worth. Welcome to this life, born into the fight, here to claim your dream suggest a sense of hope and purpose, but this is quickly followed by the line, craving dopamine, indicating the desperate need for pleasure and escape from pain and suffering. At the end of the song, the listener begins to realize that the voice encouraging suicide is actually a part of the self, and he find a sense of release and no longer need to rely on the voice of suicide. This song is pretty good with great rock and heavy elements. Track number four, Sleep Walk My Life Away, is about themes of feeling stuck in a monotonous, dreamlike state and struggling to break free from it. The chorus speaks to the repetitive nature of the narrator's life as they are caught in a spell of dreaming and sleepwalking through their days. The guitar solo may represent a fleeting moment of clarity or escape from the dreamlike state. The song is good, but not at the same level as first three and has some Alice in Chains vibe with great bass section by Robert Trujillo. An instrumental part is very interesting and heavy. Track number five, You Must Burn, has Metallica's black album song, Sad, but true vibe for sure. The song speaks against mob mentality and the burning of witches. The lyrics, catch a fire and burn all the misery, foul fingers spin mob mentality, point to this theme. The bridge, in the heat of the night, in the moon's shining light, feed the appetite, indicates that the height of anger and violence takes place in darkness and secrecy. Overall, the song tells the audience to learn from history and not repeat the wrongs of the past. This mid-tempo song will grow up at you as you listen to it more and can be your favorite song from 72 Seasons album. Track number six, Lux Eterna is the first single released from this album, a kill em all vibe song. Back to hit the light similarity, this is straight to the point. The bridge and chorus are repetitive, emphasizing the song's message of strength and endurance as well as the idea of moving forward with courage and purpose. It is three minute song, very quick, British wave of heavy metal style song. Track number seven, Crown of Barbed Wire. The lyrics speak of wearing a crown made of barbed wire, a symbol of dominance and authority that is both painful and suffocating. Pre-chorus suggests that the owner of the rusted empire has been pierced with torment and is bleeding. Crown of Barbed Wire suggests that the individual wearing the crown is struggling with the power they hold and the pain that comes with it. This song has some load era parts, but with some heavy riffing too. Track number eight, Chasing Light begins with the line, there's no light, immediately setting a somber tone. The absence of light represents a sense of despair and hopelessness. The lyrics, one step down, block it all from view with apathy, look straight through, symbolize the tendency to ignore the struggles of others. While the character be on the verge of breaking, 
there is still a strength within him that refuses to give up. This song is a mix of fast riffing by James with some mid-tempo changes. Track number nine. If Darkness Had a Sun, a third single seems to revolve around the theme of temptation and its pull towards darkness. The chorus of the song, If Darkness Had a Sun, Here I Am. Temptation is his father. I bathe in holy water. Temptation, leave me be, speaks to the internal conflict that the speaker is facing. The line, hide yourself behind tomorrow, suggests that the speaker is trying to avoid facing the consequences of their actions by looking towards the future instead of dealing with the present. It is a mid-tempo style song, reminds of Eye of the Beholder from and Justice for All album at the beginning. A pretty dark, heavy song with some great sections by Kirk, James, and Robert. Track number 10, Too Far Gone, is about the struggles with addiction and the feeling of being trapped in a cycle of self-destructive behavior. The bridge suggests that these feelings of desperation, isolation, and agitation are always present and have become a part of the narrator's identity. The outro, just for today, implies that the narrator is taking it one step at a time and focusing on the present moment to overcome their struggles. Straight to the point, four minute song with some great harmonies. Track number 11. Room of Mirrors is a song about the idea of vulnerability and the fear of judgment. The second verse portrays the speaker as vulnerable and broken with internal voices pushing back at him. It is about the fear of being rejected or misunderstood by others when revealing one's innermost thoughts and feelings. The song has some motor breath song vibe from Kill Em All album, but solos on this are extremely melodic and great. Track number 12, Ina Murata, the longest song Metallica ever made. It is 11 minute song with great section from Robert Trujillo. It has Black Sabbath vibe, a mix of My Friend of Misery from the Black Album and Outlaw Torn from Load Album. And it is about toxic relationship with misery and the desire to break free from its confines. The lyrics portray a sense of comfort and familiarity with the pain of misery, despite it slowly consuming the individual. The guitar solos emphasize the intensity of emotions and the turmoil within the individual. The outro, they try to reassure themselves that misery is not the reason for their existence, while it may be difficult to break free from the cycle of painful emotions. In my opinion, Metallica did great job with this record. I listen to it often, even if more than a year has passed since it came out. But if you ask me, maybe some songs should be a bit shorter, but this sounds good as it is. Many fans tells that Metallica sold out after, and justice for all album and separate band as old and new Metallica. I think that last three Metallica albums are very good and heavy, and we can hope they will release a couple more before their retirement. Metallica is my favorite band since 1992, and I listen to it very often. Leave in the comments your thoughts about this album, and please don't forget to click subscribe button. Until next time, stay safe everybody.